Hey everyone, Asa here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export Optimizely experiment data from the command line. First step, navigate to optimizely.com slash plans and make sure event data export is available for your plan. Then navigate to link.optimizely.com slash data export CLI where you'll find the instructions for the other prerequisites on this video, which include a terminal to run bash scripts, JQ, curl, and the AWS CLI. There are links here which will explain how to install each of these prerequisites. Also make sure you have an experiment with results data that's at least one day old. If you satisfied all these prerequisites, then follow the link here to download OEvents, the script that we'll be using during this video. Find the downloaded OEvent script in your downloads folder and move it to a folder you're comfortable navigating to on the command line. Open a command line terminal and navigate to the directory. Make sure the OEvent script is executable by calling chmod plus x on OEvents. And then you'll want to copy this newly executed binary to somewhere that is already available on your path, like user local bin. We can make sure that everything is working by calling o events help, and it looks like the o events script is responding. Great. The next step is to allow o events to get our Optimizely data by generating a personal access token. So navigate to the Optimizely application, go to Profile, API Access, and generate a new token. We'll give it the name Optimizely Data Export. You'll want to copy this token and save it in a secret location, and then go to the terminal and export Optimizely API token as an environment variable and paste the token there. Now that OEvents is authenticated, we can do OEvents ls to see the type of data that's available in this export. There are two types of data available in this data export. There are decisions, which are any time Optimizely makes a decision on which variation a user should get. And then there are also events, which are any of the events that you're tracking with Optimizely. To download this data, we'll use the o events load command, but there could potentially be a lot of experiment data. So let's load between a specific time frame window, say July 22nd, and July 24th. And we'll specify the output folder to be Optimizely data. Nice, OEvents downloaded my experiment data and saved it in Apache Parquet format. To visualize this Parquet file, what I've done is used Visual Studio Code and installed a Parquet extension so that when I open a Parquet format, it will re-display it as JSON, so it's a little bit easier to visualize. So here I'm seeing the events from my experiments uh, locally on my computer. So that's about it for the video. I've shown you how to download, install, and use OEvents, a command line tool to get to Optimizely's enriched event export. Thanks for watching and hope you learned something.